Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I want to show you how to connect the FaceCap app um, into Blender. So I've done this in the past a couple of times, but I think it's a, it's a lot faster now with Blender 2.80. So let's get started. First of all, I will import um, some kind of head. Um, so let's grab one. I believe I have FBX over here. Face capture, okay. FBX 2013. So I should have my head here, five view, frame selected. So by default, it's gonna look something like this. And we need to fix it very quickly. So I'll, I'll open the properties, select all by type mesh and we're gonna turn off auto smoothing okay now this looks good and we just need to set this properly um, with the MIDI and OSC stuff so we've done this in the past we don't need the MIDI we just need we need to connect the right IP address so let me connect to 192.168.17 input port is correct so with this uh, with the face and blend shape um, we actually um, it's slightly tricky but it's like it's not too bad once you understand so we basically need to grab the head and the, the data path needs to be coming from the blend shape and the blend shapes is located here we just need to right click and copy data path paste it here and with this head blend shape from face cap app example we actually have like 52 or 51 blend shapes and we're gonna grab all of them at the same time and the way to do it is the uh, we need to grab the shape keys data and it's looking something like this I believe so the address from the head itself it's coming from let's say um, I think it's called W we're gonna receive and it's giving an error at the moment we're gonna use multi-routing we have 51 or 52 instance um, I think that this data is still wrong the base name needs to be from the data from the head and I believe this is supposed to be data shape keys and I believe it's looking something like this okay now we are getting something um, So instance 51, so we just need to grab the right value, yeah okay, yeah, I think we are actually, we got everything correct at the moment, um, it's syncing although it's there's some kind of delay so multi-routing in data path offset maybe offset needs to be one or minus one so it there might be like a slight delay but I have the one that's already working for here Actually, this guy over here. So, so if I'm not recording, this is actually real time, and this is the whole setup. So we we actually indeed we need to offset it by one, and this one is from one to one, and here I am actually 
I'm connecting the, the head locations and the head rotation Euler and this guy already have the conversion from um, radian to degree so that's really handy so this is for the head location this is for the head rotations and then we also have the eye left and eye right and then here I, I provided my own eyeballs and so now the whole thing is supposedly mimicking my face so yeah so there seems to be like a delay if I'm doing uh, video recording but this is real time and I tried it many times and I could actually record myself in real time so this is uh, yes this is the whole setup so thanks to the MOM add-on we can do this um, pretty easily fairly easily and you can connect um, your own 3d head characters and, and capture the performance so in in reality maybe you can simply just record whatever performance on the iPhone or the iPad and then you just export it into blender so that's kind of the same thing more or less but it's nice to be able to see and visualize this inside blender as well um, so yeah uh, hopefully this is useful let me know what you think if you have any questions uh, and, and I'll try to answer it so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.